So I, I tried doing that, tried making these changes in the education system. And very early on over there, I realized that if, that by trying to do this, I'm shifting the burden of this onto a system which may or may not comply with what is really required for the child. As a parent, am I responsible for some stuff? Can I leave the emotional development of my child in the hands of a system with complete strangers who may have their own baggage that they are carrying? If the schooling system is meant for intellectual and social development of the child, let's put a full stop there. And I'll tell you why I was able to reach this conclusion, because exactly like you, I came out of this very, very strict system run by nuns and God bless them because I am who I am only because of the disciplined way in which they raised us. But what, and then finally leading up to IMA, competition, 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 rat race, rat race, rat race, which was a part and parcel of my life from the word go. I didn't want to raise Advika in that environment. I just didn't. And luckily my husband was the first, he'd also been through the same cycle, Goon School, Bitspilani, I'm in the bath. Like, enough, we've gone through this torture. We don't want our child to go through this. And we had never discussed this with Advika, but when she was three, three and a half years old, when we were choosing schools, she had an admission to a typical mainstream school and an admission into a free progress. It's a radically free progress school. And as a three and a half year old, she put her foot down and said, I don't want to go to that school. I will go to this school. So free progress school, which said they will work on the intellectual, the mental, the social, the emotional and the spiritual growth of the child. Did I say physical anywhere? Physical. So they said that for us, education is the integral education of Sri Aurobindo and the mother. Mm -hmm. And they said, that is what we will work on. So unless and until you're clear about wanting that for your child, don't join the school. Even before we could become clear, Radhika was like, there is no other school I'm studying in but this one. And on hindsight, we look back and we say, we needed to do our share in the spiritual and emotional development of our child rather than leave it on a system. The system will do what it will do, but as parents, we need to hold on to these key things in life very, very dearly and very, very closely because at the end of the day, the schooling system is a system where the grades become relevant, where your progress in your peer group becomes relevant. And these things cannot be tested or evaluated. The moment that doesn't happen, the attention of the child to those issues becomes a little diminished. Yes, there are a few who will draw inputs from there, but I still think this education system is all right doing what it's trying to do. If they can include the neurodiversity in their curriculum, that much is good enough for them.